Hi, it's Scott with Michigan Pool News, and it's April, and uh, it's AccuTab month with Axial, and uh, we've done already a conversion from liquid chlorine, and we're going to do from another Cal Hypo competitor if you're changing from one Cal Hypo system to another. Nick, let us show us what's going on here. So there is a major difference uh, in the operation of the two systems that do, in fact, generate an ROI. So what we've done here is we're identifying the bodies of water and the gallons. Again, the uh, residual part per million of chlorine that you're keeping in the pool, the days of operation. And what this is doing is it's crunching out and telling us, okay, how much Cal Hypo in pounds are we using a year? So we now have the cost of the competition's Cal Hypo per pound, uh, which, which crunches out per pail. Um, they do sell the, the, uh, the product in, in different weights, so we have to make this conversion to make sure we're doing apples to apples. And this first section right here is literally telling you if we're going to do a difference in cost per pound of the tabs, how much you're going to save or lose. This a a example, actually, you know, uh, the Cal Hypo for AccuTab is a little bit more expensive, so $26.40 a year, negligible, but it is showing you an accurate uh, part of the payback. The next one is, I think, the, the biggest part of uh, the difference in the two systems, and that's the electrical. As you may or may not know, AccuTab only comes on with a controller. Uh, brand X comes on or has to run all the time um, as a way that their system works. So we're simply taking volts and amps and hours of day of operation of brand X and how much that electrical costs that facility and then we're taking the AccuTab system with the same voltage, essentially the same motors, but you can see where we've gone from 24 hours in brand X. The AccuTab system on average only runs four it hours. Runs that much more, eh? Runs that much more. Wow. So you take the simply the kilowatt hours and multiply by their cost per kilowatt and you can see by switching to the AccuTab system in a given year, and this is a pretty standard number. Uh, this is two pools, so you divide that by two. It's a really good indication of just on a baseline how much you could save just in electrical alone by switching to AccuTab. The next one is, is, is kind of interesting as well. We go back to that labor rate, and because of the continuous operation of Brand X's system, they tend to go through motors more, uh, Venturi's clog up, because the AccuTab system does not run as much as Brand X, we see a tremendous savings typically in how much it costs to maintain that unit, not to mention clean the unit per year. So this is where we get this number. Uh, again, a large number when you start talking about how much time you're spending tearing down your feeder and maintaining it. So then the summary down here is simply adding up how much it costs to run Brand X, how much it costs to run AccuTab in the Delta, and you can see um, same basic chemical, way cheaper to use AccuTech. Great, thanks, Nick. So we appreciate it. Um, this is thank you for viewing Michigan Pool News.